in services has played an increasingly vital role in economic growth over the past few decades. Within a 12-year period, for example, services trade has grown at a higher annual rate than trade in goods. Its share in global trade has risen from 9% in 1970 to 23% in 2017, and it's estimated to cover one-third of global trade by 2040. And trading services has been seeing a rapid expansion in Asia, where it's reported to grow nearly two times faster than anywhere else in the world. India and the Philippines are among the biggest providers of outsourced or offshore services. Experts say trading knowledge-intensive services should be the next area for growth in Asia. They say it's an important gap to be filled in most countries. For more analysis, I'm now joined by Liu Zhiting, Senior Research Fellow at the Chongyang Institute for Financial Studies at Renmin University of China. Mr. Liu, welcome to Asia Today. Uh, the region of Asia is the fastest growing region in the world in terms of uh, trade in services. How will this trade fair in particular benefit Asian countries? As we know, in the past 40 years, the Asian countries are always well integrated in international business. Nowadays, I think we are closely linked with service trade, especially in this area, because service trade in the past years has well developed and becoming the major engine to promote all the economic development in all countries. And of course, we know that the Asian countries now closely cooperated to uh, fight against the virus outbreak. So in this way, this international fair will give a good opportunity for all Asian countries that uh, to have benefits uh, together. As we always say that in China, we promote a, a strategy as we say that extensive consultation joint efforts and also shared future, shared benefits. So in this way, we are sure that the Asian countries will benefit from this international fair, from the service trade, especially, I think, to promote all the uh, communications and the infrastructure and all other uh, industrial areas to mm. develop their own country economy. So in this way, we see that uh, more uh, confidence that can showed from this performance and mm. also this is a, becoming a well platform for all Asian countries to work together to overcome all difficulties and uncertainties we are facing in the time to come, especially for financial crisis and the financial difficulties at the moment. Mm. So the service trade international fair were becoming more important in the time to come. So we are hoping that all countries in Asia can closely cooperate with each other and understand with each other and support each other and the benefit, of course, together. Uh, service in trade has been growing uh, on the back of supporting policies. Mr. Liu, half countries around the world been coordinating their efforts and their policies. What do you think is the role of international cooperation in service trade policies? As always, we see that uh, the international cooperation plays a very important and a crucial role in economic activities, especially in the international trade and business. So without the international cooperation, I think no country can singularly develop their own economy. So we have the three points that are to coordinate with each other. First, from policy making, that all countries have their own interests have their own uh, points to develop, but we should coordinate all the policy uh, making that to closely uh, cooperate how to come on to the common points, not to uh, overcome all the difficulties we are facing. This is very important for the policy making. And secondly, also, we have to share all the ideas and the consultations to overcome all difficulties we are facing, especially the challenges for our for us all, all are very serious, are very important for us to have corporate to exchange in experiences and the views how to overcome all these uh, uncertainties and the challenges. And the third, we should share the opportunities together because every country has its own point that to have their own opportunities to develop their economy, their mm. strong point, their advantage.
advantages. So in this way, we should share all the opportunities. Before we have time, always talking about the shared benefits, but shared benefits is based on the shared opportunities. So we should have an equal and a transparent opportunity for all countries in this area. So in this way, the international cooperation were becoming more important than ever. I see. Liu Zhiqing with Renmin University of China.